Gentlemen, you're welcome back. We're just going to finish off our number activity very quickly. So we've looked at the number cards, we've counted how many, and we've briefly looked at the numeral, the number shape on the back to, to label it to say how many. I've laid them all down. I wonder if you've got some number cards at home. Can you even if you just cut up some paper to squares, and write the number on it. I shall add up to help you if you need some help with that. Have a go at writing the number. Then I would like you to pick one out. Lay them on the floor, pick one up. I picked up the umbrellas. Let's turn it over to see the numeral. It's number two. Back to the amount. One, two. Now on a number line. I wonder if you can find the right number on our number line. Now it starts with one and it's written all the way up to ten. Can you see? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we've got a peg and we need to put the peg on the right number. To move it along and then we need to find that number. So we needed to put it on number two. Can you remember two umbrellas? Have a look at the number chart. See if we can make one of these at home or one of mummy and daddy's pegs. See if you can put it on the right number. So I think it looks like this one here. Check it. Turn it over. It was, it was the same. Brilliant, we've done that one now. Then we can take the peg off. I think sometimes using those squeezy pegs would help a lot better. I'm going to use another card. I'm going to count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five foxes. I'm not going to look at the back because I don't want to see what it is. I'm going to try and remember what number five looks like. So holding up our number line. Maybe making this little card would be a lot better, but paper is fine for the moment. Can you see the numbers? Which one was that five? Do you remember? It was down the road, round that corner, and whoops, I forgot my hat. Don't forget to write it on the top. Can you put a peg on it? Find the number five. And put a peg on that one. I'm going to do it one more shade. I would like to leave this challenge with you to do it at home. Pegs on a number line. See if you can match up the number to the amount. If you don't have number cards at home, that is fine. Maybe ask mummy and daddy to draw some, or get mummy and daddy, ask them nicely to put some toys in a pile. Can you count them? I've got some pegs here. Just got a pile of them. I don't have a number card, so I'm just gonna count how many. One, two, three, Four, four, I know what that number looked like as a number shape, as a numeral. I'm gonna find it on my number line. Yes, I'm going to put a peg on it. Can you see? We found the number four. That is a challenge. Use the resources you have at home. And just improvising as we go to help you find things that you can use at home. Number four, carry on. You haven't got to do numbers one to ten. You can go above if you want to. Challenge yourself to 15, to 20 if you've got enough pegs at home. If you can have a go at writing those numbers on that number line. Have a go, have fun. I really want to see you practicing, counting those objects, using that pointy finger, one to one counting. Try and learn that number shape, the numeral to match. Match it on the line. Have a go, have fun. It hasn't got to be sitting down indoors. Go outside, find the stones in your garden. Count them, find the numeral to match. Have fun, be active and enjoy. See you soon. Bye.